Here's how to create a simple Flappy Bird game in Python with 70 lines using Pygame. We start by importing and installing Pygame with pip install Pygame and additional the random module. Then we use Pygame to init and quit the game. Inside these, we first set up the display using the display set mode to 400 by 400 pixels. Next, we use the display set caption function to show the title Flappy Bird in the menu bar. Then we initialize the time clock class. We will add the end to limit the frame rate to protect your device. Next, we set up the bird, pipes, and score. We first define the bird using the rect class, which we place at start at the coordinates 100x, 200y, with a size of 20 by 20 pixels. Then we define a bird velocity, which we set default to zero. This will be changed later to start the movement in the y-axis. The initial score will set to zero, and we use the font class to set the size of the score font. We reset the game when the bird leaves the game field or hits a pipe. We do this by creating a reset game class. Inside here, we reset the position and the movement of the bird, clear the pipes list using the clear function, and reset the score to zero. Then we call this function to ensure all values are set clean to ensure a smooth start. After this, we create the game loop where we say running equals true, and while running is true, the game goes on. Inside here, we handle different things. First, when we use the event pygame quit to end the game and stop the loop, setting the running to false. In here, we check as well when a key is pressed using the key downs event, and if it's the key space, we set the velocity to minus five, which makes the bird flaps upwards. This part is where we define the gravity of the bird that brings it constantly downwards. Therefore, we use the bird velocity and set it to 0.2. When we now add this to the bird Y position, the bird moves downward 0.2 pixels per loop. If we press space, we get up five pixels by inverting this gravity once. Now we can create the pipes. Basically, we generate first a full pipe and then subtract a gap from it where the bird can pass. Therefore, we say, create a new pipe when first the pipe list is empty, e.g. the game just started, or the last pipe X position is smaller than 250X. Here we can adjust the spacing later. This will lead to a space of 100 pixels, which we see soon why. Next, we generate a random position for the gap in Y direction. We do this using the rand range function and pass the values between 80 and 300. Next, we define the pipe width and the gap height. If you want it more challenging, reduce the gap height. Then we create the two pipes out of these variables. Okay, before we move on, a quick note. I had to split this into two parts, so check out the follow-up video linked below.